Spider-Man may return to Marvel thanks to Apple potentially buying Sony. New article from Epic Steam by Tina DePanda. United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We, we are, are comics. comics. Please note, Hydra have been unsubscribing UCU family members from the reports I have been receiving from the United Comic Universe family. So please check and see if you are still subscribed to the channel. Also share our videos to show the people out there so they can see how awesome our channel is. United Comic Universe store is now open where you can get your awesome gear from leggings to hoodies. When you are feeling a little chilly Drink some more hot chocolate in your United Comic Universe mug. Oh, when your feet is getting a little cold at night, put on your United Comic Universe socks to get the warmness only the United Comic Universe socks can give you. So, are you ready to get geared up and fight and take down Hydra? Hit that link down below and get your gear for the mission and let's kick some Hydra butt. Remember, we are United Comic Universe. We are comics. Also, like up. Each like up is a morale boost to all that is in the fight to take down Hydra. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified on the upcoming comic news. If this is your first time here, tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Back to the news. Marvel fans were devastated when the word came out that Sony Spider-Man did what Disney had fallen through. Everyone had came to love Tom Holland version of the West Slinger and there was a lot of chaos when the word came out that Spider-Man would be no longer a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But there are some that are still holding on to the hope that Disney and Sony finally come to agreement on Spider-Man, it seems like the talk between the two companies had to be put on hold because of Apple reporting wanting to acquire Sony. According to the report by Comic Book News, an investor analyzed just recently claims that Apple may be out for a major acquisition and Sony have been listed as a potential candidate along with studios like A24, Liongate, Valcon, CBS, MGM, and Netflix. While this might seem like a treat to a Spider-Man stand in the MCU, words has it that Disney and Sony are currently at a stalemate position. If Sony Picture were to be sold the film studio division of the main Sony companies, then it seems like the rights to Spider-Man would have to return to Marvel. This is definitely an interesting news. Early this month, Sony declared that Spider-Man deal dead, hoping that it would be able to get better offer from Disney now. It seems like the Mickey Mouse house had the opportunity of gaining the rights to Spider-Man back, and this time for free. Of course we have to wait for the outcome of Apple, Ventures. The studio could very well decide on buying a different company. Let's just wait and see. Uh, how do I feel about this? The whole thing's about Spider-Man leaving the MCU is all smoke and mirrors. Because just look at James Gunn. I knew they was going to hire him back. I did a video on this. I posted it on July 31st, 2018. So check it out. The link will be down below. I also did a video that Captain Marvel is the one who saved Tony Stark. I post that up on December the 10th, 2018. So also check that video out also. What's up with the Blade movie? Ali is a good actor. I started watching his work since the 4400. An awesome show. But why not Wesley? He still can play the Daywalker. I know it's not because of age difference. Because Wesley is 57. Ali is 45. 
a difference between 12 years. Really? So, it cannot be that, right? I am lost with this whole thing why they didn't cast Wesley Snipe to play Blade. I mean, what do y'all think? Just leave it down in the comments below. Well, a lot of people and also fans are thinking the same way. If you have anything to say about this or anything in this video, leave a comment below. I can guarantee you when the Blade movie come out, people will say the movie was good, but they should have cast Wesley Snipes. If they do cast Wesley for Dracula, that's some of the rumors going on. People's going to be like, how the New Day Walk is going to be able to beat Dracula? Because he's not going to have the martial skills. It's not going to be, it's not going to be believable in the movie, people. I will do another video on this topic at a later time. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. What about this Black Widow movie? I mean, where's the hype for this movie? This is one of the very first movies of Phase 4. Also, fans have been waiting for this movie for years. Where's the promotion? One last thing. I know this Spider-Man movie was all smoke and mirrors. I did a video on this. Also, I posted it on August 28, 2019. The link will be down below, so check it out. This has been a United Common Universe News panel. I am Fenrir Moon, signing our panel. We will see you next time. Remember, here at United Common Universe, we are comics. <laughs>